Hi guys, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel and welcome to our guide to the best tap rooms in London in support of this bad boy right here. This is our book which comes out on the 1st of February uh, via Ebury Press. It's going to be in all good bookshops and probably some really bad ones. And we thought the best way to promote it would be to go to four of our favourite tap rooms from the book and there'll be another video soon with our four favourite pubs. So buckle up because this is going to get drunk. <laughs> as it always has to be on the Bermondsey Beer Mile, is brewed by numbers, because you need juice. We're talking juice bombs. We're talking absolute juice bombs. Oh God. But also, increasingly, like they've got cranberry wit, they've got a big, amazing coffee style, so if you're slightly hanging from the night before, it's a really good place to start. Caffeine and alcohol fixes most things. Definitely. So it's a broken heart. But you'll feel better anyway. Here. Ain't no cure for that. Ain't no cure for that. So get down here early, because it does get busy, but it is, for our money, the best brewery on the mile. Oh yeah. It takes you to all the exotic places, like Tottenham Hale in the pissing rain. Yeah, it's a right, great day for this, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, who's, well. Whose idea was this? Yeah, I think it's mine, isn't it? Pressure Drop, who make Pale Fire, which is probably the, one of the most important beers in my beery lifetime. It's a boomer. It's definitely a, a sort of rites of passage beer, isn't it, as far yeah. as London beers go? Yeah, a rites right of passage is the first time you drink Pressure Drop Pale Fire and you have six of them, wake up, you feel fine during the night and then you wake up in the morning. Oh my! Uh, but it is delicious and sessionable and juicy and one of the one of the first like really hazy, really juicy, really drinkable beers that kind of, you know, now people might say, oh, is this a New England style? Like, no, it's just really juicy hops, slightly hazy, fantastic beer. And look at these surroundings! Uh, yeah, this big open space, you're actually right, right by the fermenters and stuff. There's even a side saying, mind your head, because you might you might bang your head on the mash gun at one point. Which is really cool, it's visceral. It's visceral, that's the word, isn't it? You really feel like you're being a part of the process of beer. Yeah. And that's the special thing about coming to tap rooms, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. And the fact, you know, the brewers are pressure dropping usually here. Uh, if you pick the right weekend, you can go running with them beforehand and then get a beer on them. It's just a lovely community feel. But yeah, you could do, you could do that if you like running. Do it if Brad's doing it, just that would be drink. awesome. If, if I do it, it'd be the last thing I ever do. Well, that's a video uh, I'll in drink itself. To that. <laughs> I mean, what, what a better, look at this environment, it's amazing. Yeah. The people you get here, the atmosphere, you can't really beat it, right? Yeah. I mean, they've, they've railed off the tanks because they know that otherwise people will be like, weep, weep. <laughs> but you can like literally sit among the tanks, among among your people, people who love flavour, people who love beer, people who love people who love beer, uh, and it's a, it's a really magical place to come and enjoy some really fresh beer uh, from their core and also special stuff. I, I love it here, and I'm so glad Pressure Drop moved in next door. It's amazing. Yeah. How good is Tottenham? How good? Yeah, Tottenham. Tottenham. Kind of left the best till last, in my opinion. Yeah, we've left your best till last. We're at my favourite tavern. Yeah. 
I live miles away from here. I never remember how I've got home from here. But it's awesome. We're at Howling Hops. We're at Howling Hops in Hackney Wick. This place is amazing. Not only do they brew it on site, so it's a, it's a brew pub, they also serve it straight from conditioning tanks, so it never sees oxygen, never sees light, and they can serve all the beers at exactly the right temperature. Yes. Which is really important. They've got an Imperial Stout and they've got a 3.8% riding out, pale out. So they need to be served at completely different temperatures. So that's really, really important when serving great craft beer. It's yeah. also a great vibe, great barbecue food. Barbecue food here is amazing. They've always got cool DJs playing yep. of an evening. Indeed. Um, and it's a really cool area as well. So there's, there's the Beer Merchants Tap, which I'm part of, right nearby. There's Mason & Co. There's Crate. There's so many amazing places, most of which are in the book, that you can go after, or indeed before this, because they have wicked DJs on as well. So guys, please do buy the London Craft Beer Guide. It will keep us in our houses for another year, keep us in beer for another year. And it is, I mean, we're really, really proud of it. Oh, it's a labour of love. There's, yeah. there's no other way to put it. It's, yeah. been, it's, it's been such hard work. <laughs> Um, but we're really pleased with the photography, the illustrations that Alex did, obviously the words are dynamite. Pretty good, they're alright. Yeah. So you can get it on Amazon, uh, you can get it at beermerchants.com, we'll be doing a box of London beer with it. Uh, you can also get it in all good and all, all bad bookstores. So go pick it up, let us know what you think, send us a picture uh, and do the crawls that are suggested in there. Yes, guys, love and beer.